Ahorita. Hello. Hola. Hello. 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 No saben todo lo que he pasado, right? <laughs> hasta, no, no, no. Look, hasta me mudé. Give me a second. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what happened. <laughs> no, es que normalmente tengo mi oficina, pero ahorita estoy en la sala, así que es que saben que creo. I don't know, pero yo creo que me hackearon, guys. <risa> ah, me, me, Douglas, me, <risa> me hackearon No, I don't know what happens eh, Como que si de repente Mi computadora ya no leyó el wifi Así que tuve que conectarme con un cable um, Pero no tenía el cable a la mano Así que that's why <risa> Ya se fue Ya se fue Yeah, but I'm so sorry pero, I mean, thank you. ¡Qué responsables! ¡Wow! Yo ya, me, yo ya casi me iba. Ah. <risa> no, um, pero gracias por quedarse. De verdad, gracias. Super, super good. Así que, um, bueno, sigamos. <risa> ok, Además, very good. No ando con usted, <risa> I'm sorry. No, nos hundimos con usted en el barco, no se preocupe. Thank you, very good. Pero se quedaron plac. Se quedaron. Está la <laughs> Only English, right? Practice, practice, just practice. Zero. Ah, solo inglés hablaron, sí, Ah, okay. So zero Spanish, right? <laughs> okay, very good. Okay, all right. Well, let's continue then. Estamos en las yes no questions, right? So, cuando tenemos yes no questions con el verbo to be, decíamos que es lo primero que necesitamos. El ver. ver. El ver to be. Necesito auxiliary. No, 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 right? Very good. But, ¿qué pasa si tengo un verbo diferente? I need the auxiliary. I need the auxiliary. All right. So, that is what I want you to keep in mind. For example, en la practice que tuvimos ayer, right? Si se fijan, a veces hacíamos una pregunta y decíamos, does she is happy? ¿Puedo decir eso? Does she is happy? No. 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 Porque ya tengo el verbo to be, right? Y si yo tengo el verbo to be, el auxiliary is not necessary, right? So that is what you have to keep in mind. So in this case, um, can you see the presentation, everyone? Yes? Yes. Okay, yeah. very good. So, look at this. Simple present, if you have the verb to be, no auxiliary. Solo ponemos el verbo to be al inicio. And if you have another verb, simplemente ponemos el auxiliary. Mm -hmm. Now, si yo les pregunto, do you take a shower? If the answer is yes, ¿cómo responderían? <coughs> Yes. yes, I do. Yes, I do. Yes, yes, I do. ¿Puedo decir do. yes, I am? No. no. No, right? Very good. Does she clean the house? What is the answer if the answer is yes? Yes, she yes, does. She does. Yes, she does. Very yes, good, she very does. good. Yes, she does. ¿Puedo decir yes, she is? Mm, no. no. No, right? Porque no tenemos el verbo to be. All right. Super good. Now, look at this practice. Vamos a ir rapidito because of the time. So, les voy a dar unas oraciones y ustedes me indican si necesito el verbo to be or the auxiliary. All right. Look at this. Can you see the sentences? Yes? Yes. If I say, you tired, can I say, are you tired or do you tired? 
Do you tire? Mm, are you sure? Are you tired? Are you tired? Are you tired? Are you tired? All right. Pay attention here. ¿Cómo saber si necesito auxiliary o si necesito el verbo to be? En la oración, ¿tengo otro verbo en la oración? No. No. No really, right? So, como no tengo otro verbo, eso me está indicando que necesito un verbo. En este caso, necesito el verbo to be. Uh, Are you Tired. tired. So imagine if I ask you, are you tired? What will be the answer? Can I say, yes, I do? ¿Puedo decir eso? Yes, I do? No. no. So what is the correct answer? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. <laughs> Very good. Yes, I am. Um, next one, she hungry. Can I say, is she hungry or does she hungry? If she hungry. Yes. She. Very good. Is she, is she hungry? hungry? Very good. Next one, you cycle to school. What will be the correct answer here? Can I say, are you cycle to school or do you cycle to school? Do you, are you, are you, are you, cycle, you cycle to school? Okay, pay attention you, here. You. Tengo otro verbo en la oración? No. What about cycle? Uh, Como andar en bicicleta, right? Como bicicletear, <laughs> right? Cycle. So, puedo decir, are you cycle to school or do you cycle to school? Yeah, do, do you cycle? Do you cycle? In this cycle. case, cycle. do, do you, you cycle. cycle? Very good. Look at the next one. She like school. Is she like school or does she like school? Oh, does she? Does she? Does she like school? ¿Por qué vamos a usar does y no el verbo to be? Ya hay un verbo. Porque ya tenemos like. el verbo like. Correct. Very good. So decimos, does she like school? Imagine esta. They worried. ¿Qué significa worried? Ajá. Uh -huh. Preocuparse, Preocupados, right? So les puedo preguntar, are you worried or do you worried? Do you? Are they worried? Are they, are they worried? Imagine, piénsenlo de la forma in Spanish. Tendría do más you? sentido decir, ¿estás preocupado? Verbo to be, o solamente decir, eh, ¿preocupado? Mm. Ellos están are preocupados. They? Ah, exactly. Are Vamos they, a decir, they, are, they are they worried? worried? All right, look at the next mm -hmm. one. They go to bed at midnight. Are, go to bed. Hmm. are they or go to bed. do they? Are they? Okay, they pero look, bed. tengo go aquí. Oh. So, mm -hmm. do they? Do they go to bed or are they go to bed? <laughs> Vamos a decir. Respuesta definitiva. Do. ¿Por qué? Porque aquí tengo otro verbo. Remember, vamos a usar el verbo to be cuando dentro de la oración ya no haya otro verbo. ¿Ok? And the last one. Thirsty. ¿Qué significa thirsty? Sí. Imagine cuando no, cuando han hecho mucho ejercicio y no han tomado Cansado. agua. ¿Cómo se sienten? Están sedientos. Exactly. So what will be the sentence here? Are you thirsty or do you thirsty? Do you thirsty? Do you? Tengo otro verbo en la oración. Uh, no, are you? Uh, are. Are, that's the one. Are you thirsty? Estás sediento? ¿Cuál sería la respuesta? If the answer is yes. Yes, I am. 
am. Yes, I am. If the answer is no. No, I am not. No, I am not. No, I am not. Not. Yes, I am I am not. not. Very good. Not. Now, pay attention. Tenemos que identificar cuándo usar auxiliary y cuándo usar el verb to be. Now, vamos a ver, vamos a hacer una pequeña rifa, right? And this is... ¿Ah? Vamos a ganar. Ok, look at... Let's see, let's see. I'm going to think about it. No, parece, justo. Mm, come on. Ok, look at this one. La rifa consiste en lo siguiente. Look at this. I have here different sentences y ustedes tienen que crear la oración que les aparezca. Si les aparece affirmative con el verbo to be, tienen que crear una oración en affirmative con el verbo to be. For example, look at this. Ok, ¿qué dice la oración? Dice negative con un verbo diferente. Significa que ustedes van a tener que decirme una oración en negativo usando un verbo que no sea el verbo to be. A ver, can you give me a sentence in negative with a different verb? Ajá. Remember, ¿cuál es la estructura que tenemos que seguir en negative con un verbo diferente? Necesito un subject y después auxiliar. Auxiliary, ya sea don't Verb. or y, doesn't. Eh, y después. Complement. El complement. Yeah. ¿Seguros? No. In the verb is auxiliary. Verb, verb. The verb. El después complement. del auxiliary, the verb, and the then verb. the complement. Okay. okay. Give, me, give me a subject, please. He. He, okay. ¿Cuál He sería el auxiliary? Ok. He doesn't. He, he doesn't. Ahora, give me a verb. Visit. Take a shower. Ok. Por ahí escuché visit. ¿Cuál sería el complement? At the school. Ok. Visit the school. Look. Esa sería una oración in negative with a different verb. He doesn't visit the school. Así que. Ustedes tienen que crear la oración que a ustedes les aparezca. Aquí vamos a la suerte, a ver cuál les toca. So, I need a volunteer. ¿Quién quiere tratar primero? Ajá. Volunteer o rifadito. Ah, come on. Hoy están callados los compas. Hoy ustedes, Arben, yo mucho participo. Uh, ok, Helen, Harvin. No. <laughs> Harvin, por ahí lo mencionan. Harvin, you will be the first one. Okay. ok, ok, Harvin, veamos qué tipo de oración le va a tocar. Look at this. Ah, easy. A sentence in affirmative with the verb to be. Ok, go ahead. Give uh, me a sentence. You are... Mm, Natalie. Ok, you are Natalie. ¿Qué dice el público? Is that correct? Yes or no? Affirmative with the verb to be. Is that correct? Everybody? Yeah. Correct? Yes or no? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Very good. Ok, Harvey. Fine. Very good. Ok, Harvey, elija a uno de sus compañeros, please. Rogelio. <laughs> no, hombre, yo, yo toda la vida hablo, hombre. Ok, Pero, Rogelio. Hombre. Let's see. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Let's see. Uh, yes, no questions with a different verb. Tiene que darme uh, una yes, no question usando un verbo que no sea el verb to be. It has to be a different verb. Ay, güey. <laughs> Easy, Roger. Piensen en la estructura. Si tengo un, un verbo diferente al verbo to be, ¿qué necesito primero en una yes, no question? Auxiliary. Very good. Oh. Ajá. Um. 
Pucha. Siga la estructura. Primero auxiliary. ¿Cuál auxiliary va a usar? Do or does? Das. Ok. Das. ¿Qué necesito después, Enrique? El subject. Very good. ¿Cuál subject iría con das? Uh, Ajá. She, digamos. Ok, she. ¿Qué necesito después? What do I need next? El... Verb. Verb, verb different. Ok, a verb. Give me a verb. Mm -hmm. ¿Cuál verbo vamos a usar? Play, digamos. Play. ¿Necesito la letra S, yes or no? No. Ok. ¿Cuál sería el complement? Mm, the soccer. Ok. Does she play soccer? Hmm, everybody, no. is that correct? No. Yes or no? Yes. Yes? Yes. Yes, yeah. Enrique, very good job. Yes, yes. <laughs> Ok, Enrique, please, elija a alguien. Pick someone. Si, Xiomara. Xiomara, ok. Xiomara. Ok, Xiomara, let's see. Veamos cuál le va a tocar a usted. Negative with the verb to be. Ok, Xiomara, dígame una oración en negative usando el verb to be, please. Um, she is not a sex. She is not. She is not a oh, teacher. Okay, she's not a teacher. Okay. Hmm, everybody, is the sentence correct? Mm, no. Seguros? No. Look, la sentence dice negative with the verb to be. So, tengo el verbo to be. Yes. Yeah. La tengo en negative? Yeah. Yes. yes. So, is that correct? Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's totally correct, Xiomara. Very good job. Yeah, okay. Xiomara. Xiomara, pick someone, please. Uh, Lily. Lily. <laughs> Lily. <laughs> okay, Lily. Lily. Let's see. Veamos cuál le toca, Lily. Ah, look at this. Just no questions with the verb to be. ¿Qué necesito primero para una just no question con el verb to be? El auxiliar. Mm. Verb no. to be. Okay, hold on, hold on. Lily, are you ready? A subject. The subject, okay, give me a subject. ¿Cuál va a ser el subject? Your mother. Okay, your mother. And then? Go to work. Go to work. Hmm, ok, but listen. Aquí dice una yes no question con el verb to be. ¿Tengo el verbo to be in this sentence? No. No. No really. So, Lily, try again. Inténtalo otra vez. Okay. No. Remember. Si tengo una yes no question con el verbo to be, ¿qué necesito primero? El verbo to be. The verb to be. So, Lily, ¿qué verbo to be vamos a usar? Am, is, or are? Uh -huh. Lily, are you there? I cannot hear you. Uh -huh. 
Lili. Puede usar, uh -huh. el, puede usar el comodín de la llamada. Elija a uno de sus classmates que le ayude. Lilita. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm sorry, Lily, es que no le escucho. Es. Oh, is. Ok. So, ya tengo el verbo to be. ¿Qué necesito después? Subject. The subject. Good job. Ok, Lily, ¿cuál subject vamos a usar con is? Eh, no, es, es la misma que, pero yo creo que me faltaba R, R U S. Mm. Ok, hagámoslo desde el inicio. Dime, dime un subject, please. R. Ok, R. ¿Qué sujeto va con R? You. Ok, you. podemos usar you. ¿Cuál sería um. el complement? Not. Ajá. Go to work. Ok, ¿puedo usar go to work? I no, no. No. Ok, Refute pay attention. Pay attention here, Hello, everybody. Es... Si yo ya tengo el verbo to be, no lo puedo combinar con otro oh, verbo, no. right? Yeah. Aquí lo que podríamos decir es, are you work? at work? Como diciendo, ¿qué estoy preguntando aquí? Are you at work? Estás to... ¿Estás a dónde? En el trabajo. Exacto. ¿Estás en el trabajo? Are you at work? Yes. Right? ¿Cuál sería la respuesta? Are you at work? Yes, I am. Very good. Not, yes, I am. Not, or? Not I am. Or no, I am. I am. But, Not. Not. Very good. Okay, let's see. Lily, pick someone, please. Wilson. Wilson. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. Wilson. Hello, Wilson. Are you there? Hello. Hello. Ok, Wilson, veamos cuál le va a tocar a usted. Let's see. Affirmative with a different verb. Ok, Wilson, dígame una oración en affirmative que no sea con el verb to be. Ok. Uh, Ajá. I take a shower. I take a shower. Everybody, is that correct? No. Why not? No. 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 ¿Por, ¿Por qué no? Yeah. Look, dice que es afirmativo con un oh, verbo yeah. diferente. Esa es la copia. Falta la S. Mm, necesito I... la S si digo I. No. No. No, right? So the sentence is? Correct. Correct. So, <laughs> oh, come on. Okay, <laughs> listen, everybody. So, <clears throat> quiero que se vayan fijando en cómo usamos las sentences con el verb to be o con cualquier otro verbo. All right? En eso quiero que se fijen. Presten atención y traten de traducir la oración. Por ejemplo, si yo digo, I am take a shower. Is that correct? I am take a shower. No. No. I no. Take a shower. Right? Porque es como que yo soy me baño. It doesn't make sense. Right? So we need to be very careful with that. So, preguntas con las affirmatives, las negatives, o las yes no questions. Un repasito de vez en cuando. <laughs> of course. Look at this, everybody. 
no worries, porque en lo que resta de este nivel siempre vamos a tratar la manera de ir repasando estos topics. ¿Ok? Oh, yeah, yeah. Para que no se les olvide. Y así al final se los aprendan de memoria. Got it? Now, let's see everybody. Ya vimos un poquito de grammar, ya hicimos algunos exercises. Es hora de practicar algo diferente, but please, you know what to do. Stretch your arms, move your head, try to relax. Okay, it's time for a listening practice. Okay, we're going to have a listening practice. I need a volunteer, please, for reading the sentence, the instruction. Listen Mike's daily routine and shoot the correct answer. Thank you, very good. So everybody, okay. look, I have an audio. I'm going to play the audio. And there are different sentences here. You have to tell me if the sentences are true or <coughs> false. I need a volunteer for reading the first sentence, please. Mike gets up early. Very good. So in the audio, you have to listen. Si ustedes escuchan que Mike gets up early, aquí vamos a escribirle. True. True or false. Exactly. So, pueden contestar en su notebook y luego vamos a revisar las answers if they are correct or not. Everybody ready? Yes? Para evitar interferencias, please, no vayan a encender sus microphones. Mantengan sus microphones mute. Ok, todos apaguen los micrófonos, please. Microphones off. Okay, I'm going to play the audio. Pay attention. Hi, I'm Mike, and this is my daily routine. I get up early every day around 6.30, and I go to the gym for a workout before I go to work. I usually do aerobic exercise for a while and then do some weight lifting for maybe half an hour at the gym. Then I'll return home and as I work from my home I uh, turn on my computer and start working on what needs to be done. I usually skip breakfast and I'll work until about 12 o'clock, then I'll prepare lunch and have a fairly big lunch because I don't eat breakfast. Then after lunch, I'll go back, continue working on internet or whatever I have to do for work until about six o'clock when I usually start getting phone calls from friends of mine who live abroad. And then in the evenings, if I'm not using my time doing things with the internet or surfing the web, then I'm speaking to people on the internet or on my phone. And that pretty much sums up my usual daily routine. Okay. Did you listen to the audio? Yes. ¿Lo escucharon? Did you listen? Yes. Por rato se cortaba. Okay, let's do something. I'm going, I'm going to play the audio again. Lo voy a colocar una vez más, okay? So, microphones off, everybody. Microphones off. And pay attention. Hi, I'm Mike. And this is my daily routine. I get up early every day around 6.30 and I go to the gym for a workout before I go to work. I usually do aerobic exercise for a while and then do some weight lifting for maybe half an hour at the gym. Then I'll return home 
and as I work from my home, I uh, turn on my computer and start working on what needs to be done. I usually skip breakfast and I'll work until about 12 o'clock then I'll prepare lunch and have a fairly big lunch because I don't eat breakfast. Then after lunch I'll go back continue working on internet or whatever I have to do for work until about six o'clock when I usually start getting phone calls from friends of mine who live abroad and then in the evenings if I'm not using my time doing things with the internet or surfing the web then I'm speaking to people on the internet or on my phone and that pretty much sums up my usual daily routine Okay, everybody, do you have the answers? Yes or not? Ajá. Uh -huh. ¿Tienen las respuestas o quieren escucharlo una última vez? One more. One more time? Yeah. Okay. Ok, una última vez, everybody, remember, traten de ir escuchando por lo menos las palabras claves. Es una, okay. my purpose of big lunch. <laughs> All right, so, tratemos de ir entendiendo algunas ideas. So, I'm going to play the audio one more time. Everybody, microphones off, please. And pay attention. Hi, I'm Mike, and this is my daily routine. I get up early every day around 6.30, and I go to the gym for a workout before I go to work. I usually do aerobic exercise for a while, and then do some weightlifting for maybe half an hour at the gym. Then I'll return home and as I work from my home I uh, turn on my computer and start working on what needs to be done. I usually skip breakfast and I'll work until about 12 o'clock then I'll prepare lunch and have a fairly big lunch because I don't eat breakfast. Then after lunch I'll go back continue working on internet or whatever I have to do for work until about six o'clock when I usually start getting phone calls from friends of mine who live abroad and then in the evenings if I'm not using my time doing things with the internet or surfing the web then I'm speaking to people on the internet or on my phone and that pretty much sums up my usual daily routine all right let's see everybody Mike gets up early is that true or false what do you true. think false true true, true. Uh, true. false False. Imagine that this is your exam, okay? So, algunos dicen true, algunos dicen false. Uh huh. What is the final answer, Douglas? What do you false? Okay, and Douglas, what do you think? Mike gets up early. Is that true or false? True. Oh. Okay, let's see everybody. True. It's true. Okay, so if you have true, you can write check. So you got one point. Okay, next one. Volunteer for reading the sentence number two, please. My daughter's going to the gym. 
Thank you. So guys, what do you think? Is that true or false? False. 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 My go to the gym. So he goes to the gym? Are you sure? My go to the gym. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. Very good. If you have false, you have one point. Very good. Volunteer for reading the sentence number three, please. My house breakfast. Thank you. What do you think? Is that true, true or false? True, false. Hmm. Some of false. you say true, some of you say false. True. And false. True. Now, my house true. breakfast. Hmm. So the correct answer oh, is false. False. Mm -hmm. Él dice que no tiene breakfast. Okay, no desayuna, guys. So he doesn't have breakfast. Okay, next one. Volunteer for reading, please. My, my work, my work at the school. Thank you. What do you think? Is that true or false? False. 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 No trabaja en la escuela? No. So no. where? In the at house. The... Ah, very oh. good. Right. So... Oops. <laughs> false. Él no trabaja en la escuela. ¿A dónde trabaja? In the house. Desde su casa. Exactly. Su casa. He works at home. Next one. Mike prepares a big lunch. Is that true or false? True. 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 <laughs> <laughs> totally, right? And what happens in the My evenings? Yeah. Mike talks to his friends, yes or no? Yes. yes. Are you sure? No. Uh -huh. no. Oh, yes, it's true. It's true. Yes. Okay, imagine, guys, how many points do you have? Say the same. 50 60. 50 50. 50. Everything, too. Ah, so imagine in this case, everybody, how do you feel the listening practice? Creen que listening is difficult or easy? Difficult. 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 Es, es depend when the audio is slow, the, the listen is more, more better. Uh -huh. Okay. So in this case, sintieron que el audio era fast or slow? Es slow. 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 So, era como un poquito fácil de entenderlo. Right? So, everybody, we need to practice. Si ustedes sienten que listening les cuesta, ese es el que más hay que practicar. Okay? So, be careful with that. Now, let's review a little bit the vocabulary about professions. Okay? Si yo les pregunto, what's your profession or what's your occupation? ¿Qué me dirían? My what? occupation. Uh -huh. What's My your occupation? occupation? Is council. A council, okay. A council. Very good. What else? ¿Y lo demás? What's your occupation? Fontanar. Okay. Nice. Uh huh. Cashier. What else? Yeah. Electrician. Electrician. Now look at here. I have different professions here. Let's see if you can guess the professions. Vamos a iniciar con el easy. Okay. Look at the pictures. What is the profession here? Actor. 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 Very Washington. good. <laughs> That's correct. Okay. How about this one? What is the profession? Driver. It's a driver. Oh, oh, driver. Oh, boss. Driver. Bus. Okay. Pero como digo, drive bus. Así se dice. Drive the bus. Uh -oh. I'll try. Switch. ¿Cómo decíamos cuando manejaba un camión? Truck. 
Drunk driver. Si maneja un autobús. Bus driver. Bus Very driver. good. Bus driver. A bus, bus driver. How about this one? Chef. Chef. A chef. chef. A chef. Very good. Doctor. A doctor. A doctor. Okay. Agricultor. Agricultor. How can I say agricultor in English? What do you think? Okay, we say farmer. Okay. Farmer. Vocabulary. Escribanlo, please. Farmer. ¿Cómo digo agricultor? Farmer. Farmer. That's the one. O granjero. Do you, re uh -huh. Do you remember this one? A firefighter. A firefighter. Firefighter. Good job. Good job. Do you remember this one? Policeman. policeman. The policeman. Okay, the we policeman. can say policeman oh, police. or... Police, police officer. officer. Police officer. What about this one? Singer. A sing Singer. Singer. Very Singer. good. Singer. 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 Teacher. A teacher. teacher. Good job. A teacher. Very good. Mesera. No A wider. <laughs> oh, okay. Wider. Mm. Or waitress. Wait. Ok, Wait. aquí dice Wait. server, pero remember, si es un boy, si es un man, decimos waiter. Wait. Wait. Pero si es una girl, una woman, decimos waitress. Wait. Ok, Wait. so, el nivel easy, superado. Very good job, very good job. ¿Creen que se sacarían 10 en el medium? ¿En el nivel medio? Un yes. seven. Let's see. Remember this one? Artist. 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 Good job. Artist. Very good. What about this one? Dentist. 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 That's Dentist. correct. That's correct. What about this one? And guitar man. No sé qué. <laughs> Imagine uh, la persona que toca instruments. ¿Cómo le decimos a esa persona? Um, uh -huh. Músico. Músico. How can I say músico in English? Music. Kind of. Musical. We say musician. Musician. Write it down. Oh, musician. musician. Very good. Very good. How about this one? They are not doctors. A nurse. Nurse. Very good. Nurse. Cirujanos. No. Nurse. What is the meaning of nurse? Enfermera. 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 Very good. What Enfermera. about this? Reveal world. Photo... Photographer. Uh, photographer. Photographer. Okay. Photographer. photographer. Uh, father. How can I say father. that in English? A father. Mm, no, we don't say father. We say Render. Ah. priest. Yes. Papa. Priest. Write it down. <laughs> Write it down the vocabulary. Priest. Priest. Cura. Cura es priest. priest. Yes. Cura. Ok. Imagine una persona que está intent o que trabaja de vender cosas. ¿Cómo le decimos a esa persona? Salesperson. Salesperson. Good job. What about this one? A scientist. Repeat. A scientist. A scientist. A scientist. Good job. Remember, algunos ya los hemos visto. Okay, what about this one? Um, reception. No, a reception. 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 
Ah, <laughs> okay. Both. Podemos decir receptionist, receptionist. or podemos or decir secretary. secretary. Okay, we can say both. Very good. What about this one? Mechanographer. <laughs> ¿Cómo, digo, ¿Cómo digo escribir? Right. ¿Cómo digo escritor? Writer. 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 Very good. Writer. Writer. Okay, let's see if you memorize it. How can I say this word? Freeze. 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 Okay, how can I say this one? Photographer. Photographer. Um, this one? A nurse. 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 And this a one? Musician. 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 Okay. Musician. Very good. What about this one? A dentist. A dentist. Dentist. Okay, we can say that the ah. easy and the medium are done. ¿Cómo digo agricultor? Farm. A farmer. 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 Very good job. Okay, the last one. ¿Están listos para el difícil? Difficult? Yes. 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 Okay, imagine that this is the exam. Okay. A cashier. A cashier. Cashier. Good job. Um, engineer. 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 Oh, uh, engineer. Okay. Work. We can say engineer. Alguno de ellos puede ser engineer. Or basically, we, we can say construction workers. Es decir, los que trabajan en una construction. Electrician. Electrician. Yes. Yes, electrician. 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 Look at this. Garden. Garden. Gardener. Gardener. Okay, remember, remember, pay attention here. Garden is jardín. Gardener is jardinero. Right? Exactly. Do you remember this one? Uh, we can say estilist, but remember, hairdresser, hairdresser, good job. hairdresser. Hair hairdresser. hairdresser, very good. Hairdresser. What do you think? Okay, judge, 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 judge. El que habla con el judge. Ah, ah, lawyer. Oh, a lawyer. A lawyer. A lawyer. A lawyer. Okay, esta no la hemos visto, pero se llama housekeeper. Housekeeper. Okay. Housekeeper. 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 Mechanic. Mechanic. Veterinarian. We can say veterinarian or simplemente es not vet. Okay? Very good with the vocabulary. I can see some of you remember the vocabulary. Algunos como que se les olvidan un poquito las frases del vocabulary. So please, everybody, review. Entre más vocabulario podamos, más vamos a poder hablar. Okay, now I'm going to check attendance. Solo he pasado la lista una vez. So I'm going to check attendance again, everyone. If you listen to your names, say present. Okay, let's see. Ana Carmina. Present teacher. Very good. Douglas. Present teacher. All right, very good. Guillermo. Present. Thank you. Harvin Vladimir. Present. All right. Jesús Ernesto. Jesús no Ernesto is not here. Okay. No. Um, Jesús Joanis. Present. Thank you. José Alberto Domínguez. 
Present. Very good. Jose Joel Merino. Jose Joel. Okay. Um, let's see, Rigoberto Padilla. Present teacher. All right. Rogelio Enrique. Present teacher. Very good. Orgullo Nacional. <laughs> Selvi Sosmin. Present teacher. Thank you. Sonia Elizabeth. Present teacher. All ahí right. está con la excusa que la sacó el Sí, la sacó y ahí está conectada. Ay, come sí. on. Ya lo intenté regresar, pero sí me sacó dos veces. No, Ay, con sueño, okay. ¿eh? Dormida estaba. Ok, Sonia Verónica. Present. Thank you. Um, Wilson Hernaldo. Present teacher. Thank you. Xiomara Elizabeth. Present. Thank you. And Yesenia Lili. Yesenia, are you there? Hola, present teacher. Oh, yes. Okay, very ah, good. <laughs> okay, listen, everybody. <laughs> uh, les tengo dos buenas, dos noticias, una buena y una mala. ¿Cuál quieren escuchar primero? Yo me saqué diez, la, la buena. Mala. La buena. Que nadie se va a quedar. Oh. No, no, no. A ver, ¿cuál quieren escuchar? ¿La buena o la mala? La mala. Good. La, la mala. mala. Ok, ah, la mala. Primero péguenos y después nos soba. Nos soba, sí. <laughs> Ok, the bad news, como perdimos unos 15 minutitos, uh, ah, no. nos vamos a extender Goodbye, 15 minutitos. Nice <laughs> ok, hold on, hold on, hold on. Listen, it, it, it is it's not about me, it's in a form, ok, porque lastimosamente van a, ellos cuentan como la, la parte de la clase y van a ver esos, ese, esos minutos de gap que no estuvimos así que just 15 ¿Qué minutes son ustedes? Ah, no, ah no pero aquí va la good news oh, yeah. <ríe> okay the todos good news examen días todos <ríe> <ríe> ah, eso no lo puedo modificar <ríe> all right the good news is that it's Friday come on on. It's Friday and I love you a lot. Los quiero mucho. Come on. Thank you. All right. Let's you do something. Do. This is not a good news. Sorry. <laughs> ¿Cuál es la buena noticia que ahora la va a dar, Tich? Esa, esa era la buena noticia, come on. Ok, let's do something, let's do something. Para que no sintamos largo este ratito, right? Vamos a hacer un speaking. Y en este speaking les he preparado estas questions. Son preguntas que se supone, right? Con lo que hemos aprendido durante estas dos semanas, son preguntas que tendríamos que saber responder. For example, what do you do in the morning? Esto tiene que ver con el topic de la daily routine. ¿Cómo podríamos contestar esta pregunta? What do you do in the morning? I get up early. Get up early. I get up early. ¿Qué más? What else? I, I take a shower. A shower. I take a shower. I brush my teeth. Brush Very my teeth. good. I... Now, number two. Volunteer for reading. What is your question? Ok, esto lo vimos la primera semana. ¿Cómo respondo esta pregunta? What is your occupation? I am a senior lawyer. Very good. What else? I am? I am a girl of cadastro. <laughs> Employee. All right. So, quiero que digan su real occupation. So, I am a cashier. I am an assistant. I am an ah, assistant. Okay. I am a lawyer. I am a I teacher. I am a counselor. Good. I am a teacher. I am a counselor. <laughs> Look at this one. Spell your last name. What is the meaning of last name? Apellidation. Good. Ya todos practicamos el alfabet, right? Yes. Ok, <laughs> so espero que todos puedan deletrear el last name. Number four, yes. volu volunteer for reading. Number four. What, what do you do in your job? Do you remember <laughs> las activities? Yes, Rogelio, I don't do nothing. <laughs> ok, can you tell me what activities do you do in your job? 
I send uh, email. Very good. I send emails. What else? I um, give the... a report. Girl. Okay. I send mm. reports. ¿Cómo digo? Hago llamadas por teléfono. Call. Call. Um, I phone make call. phone calls. I'm... How can I say um, ordeno documentos? I order document. Organize. You can say organize document. Organize files. Or files. Very good. Number five, volunteer for reading. What activity don't you do in your job? Ah, so this is in negative. Vamos a responder in negative. ¿Cómo podríamos responder in this question? Mm, I don't make uh, photocopies. Very good. I don't make photocopies. What else? Uh -huh. I don't. ¿Qué más? Algo que no hagan. Something that you don't do in your job. I don't do drive. I don't do by I don't drive. Or... I, I don't, don't, I don't, I don't drink dance. coffee. I don't drink coffee. I uh, don't dance. Either. For example, sleep. Do you sleep at work? Yes. <gasps> really? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, normally I don't sleep at work. Okay. Pero si duermen? All right. And the last one, pay attention in the last one, is in third person. Volunteer for reading? What does your mother do in the afternoon? ¿Cómo contestaríamos? What would be the answer? Is in third person. I take the snack. No, she, 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 she. Ah, ¿qué hace su mamá? ¿Cuándo? In the afternoon. So, she... After en la tarde. Ajá. Watch TV. Ok, pay attention here. Puedo decir... She watch TV. Estoy hablando watches. de your mother. She ah, watches. 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 She watches TV. TV. ¿Qué más hace su mamá en las tardes? She cleans the house. She cleans the house. So listen to music. She listens to, to music. music. She so, cooks dinner. She drinks coffee. Exactly. Very good. So, la última pregunta está en terceras personas. So, please, en la última hay que agregarle the letter S. I'm going to send the questions on WhatsApp's group y vamos a ir a responder las preguntas en el grupo. So, entrevisten a su compañero. For example, si el grupo es de tres, right? Primero responde, for example, Ana responde la primera pregunta. Cuando ella ya la haya respondido, viene Selvis y responde él. Y luego de Selvis, responde Enrique. Cuando todos respondieron la pregunta uno, nos pasamos a la pregunta dos. Y así uh, todos vamos a ir respondiendo. ¿Entendido? Yes. No. <laughs> ok. Pregunta, ¿Se entiende la activity? Yes or no. no? No. Ok, voy a explicar otra vez. En el grupo les envié una captura con las preguntas. ¿Ya las vieron? Oh, well. Yes. Yes. So, vamos a estar en grupos de tres. So, cuando estén en la sala del grupo, hacen la primera pregunta. What do you do in the morning? Imaginémonos que en el grupo está Ana, Enrique y Selvis. Viene Ana y responde la pregunta número uno. Cuando Ana ya la respondió... Sell this, la responde él con sus propias palabras, right? Y luego de sell this, Enrique responde. Cuando todos hayan respondido, nos pasamos a la pregunta número dos. Y así sucesivamente. ¿Se entiende? Yes. Yeah. Everyone. La idea yeah. es que todos vayamos respondiendo. So, let's go to work, everybody. Solo unos minutitos y luego con eso terminamos. Let's go. No Spanish, please. Let's go.
Hello. Ok. Llega Wilson. Welcome, Wilson. Hi, hello, dijo aquel. Mm. <laughs> ok. ¿Quién empieza? Ah, se nos sumó Douglas. Ah, también. Va. Okay. Four. Según el recuadro, empecemos. Harvard empieza. Let's go, let's go, let's go. What do you do in the morning? Ok. Uh, um, I get up early. Ok. Hello. Pienso. No voy yo. Hi. Hello. No, tienen que responder los otros dos para pasar ah, okay. a la próxima. Ah, ok. okay. Next okay. question. Uh, I get up early after uh, take a shower after go to, go to work. Take a shower, man. Ok. Yeah. Next. Douglas. Next, Douglas. What do you do in the morning? Es la pregunta. What do you do in the morning? What do you do in the morning? What do you do in the morning? In the morning, What salir durmiendo. <laughs> <laughs> Answer the questions. Carry on, sleep. Okay, answer the question, please. ¿A quién le toca responder? Douglas. Le tocaba a Douglas, pero se fue. <laughs> okay, uh, mientras Douglas piensa la respuesta, continue. Who's next? Okay. Uh -huh. what, what, what is your occupation? I am a doctor. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, my occupation is uh, civil protection work, working. Okay, Douglas. I'm counselor. My occupation is counselor. A, I am an accountant. Okay. Spell you, your last name. Harvey. Your last name. My last name. Spelling. G O N Z A L. Okay. Huh? L E N Z R M M. E and I. Okay. Okay, Lily, spell your last name. M A B A um, W R O. Repeat, please. <laughs> Hola. <laughs> Repeat. Okay. Um, M. Okay. A. B. A. W. R. O. Okay. Okay. Listo. Um, what what do you do in your job? <laughs> uh -huh. What do you do in your job? Yeah. Um, I I como se pone report I report report. Sí. Um, 
entrego reportes, quiero decir. I report. Mm -hmm. I send reports. I send report. Mm -hmm. Eso. El yeah. send me faltó. Exactly. <laughs> okay, great. Thank you, teacher. I send report. Yeah. Okay, Lily. What do you do I, in your job? I send emails. I send emails. Okay. Yeah. Don Jose maybe say I listen to customers. And you prepare the documents because I'm uh, you a lawyer. Oh, uh, you prepare documents. Okay. Number five. Five. Number. What what activity don't you do in your job? And that is activity. What is your activity and your job? Oh, prepare, prepare the document. Prepare document. Oh. Lick Sonia, tell me. Open your microphone. <laughs> okay, sorry. I. <laughs> I write the document. I a lot of read the document, the book. I how do you say that? Mm -hmm. Give. 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 Yes. I I give. Uh, Legal. Your microphone is mute. Open Sorry, your microphone. Mi, okay. Mi hija, le presiona aquí, me arruina todo. <laughs> okay, let's <laughs> listen number six. Okay. What? Lo digital. Ah, uh, digital. Pero ¿cómo es tesorería? ¿En qué trabaja en tesorería? En tesorería, yes. Ajá, sería. Pero, pero una de mis actividades podría ser digitar en la computadora. If you want to say that, solo decimos type. Oh. I type on the computer. Oh. Uh -huh. Computer. I type on the computer. I die in the I die in my computer. Mm -hmm. eh, teacher, ahí donde dice la cuatro. What yeah. do you and your hot job? ¿Qué trabaja? ¿Qué hace en el trabajo? ¿Qué actividades realiza usted mm. en el trabajo? Es la misma que la cinco, entonces. Mm, no, because in the number five is in negative. En la número cinco son las actividades que ustedes no hacen en el trabajo. For example, Ooh. ¿ustedes manejan un camión en su trabajo? No. No, así que decimos, I don't drive a truck. ¿Ok? I don't drive. Exactly. En la número cinco hay que contestar oh, en negative. But listen, ya no tenemos tiempo. Vamos a regresar al salón principal. Okay? Back. okay. Let's go back. Time's up. Okay. How was the practice? Easy? Difficult? 50-50? Difficult. Difficult. <laughs> What was the most difficult question? ¿Qué pregunta sienten que les costó responder? Casi todo. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> ¿Y los demás? What do you think? ¿Cuál les costó más? Mm -hmm. Five and six. Five and six. ¿Cuál sintieron más fácil de responder? One, one two, three. Only okay. one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but... You are trying, pero lo están intentando. Now, 
Listen, ahí tienen las preguntas en el WhatsApp. En sus ratitos libres, vean las preguntas y traten de responderlas. All right. Esto ya es una extra practice que ustedes pueden tener. Ok, agarren las preguntas y digan, ok, what's your occupation? ¿Cómo respondería? Ok, on Monday, porque hoy sí, ya, ya no les voy a quitar más tiempo. On Monday, vamos a hacer esas, vamos a revisar esas preguntas. De repente voy a tomar alguno de ustedes y les voy a decir, ok, what's your occupation? Ah, spell your last name. Ah, what does your mother do in the afternoons? Ok, así que try to practice, try to practice the structure. Ok, now, because it's very late, hoy no, no voy a hacer que nadie se quede, no worries. No, la, right? la semana que se quede, teacher. <ríe> no, come Yo on. Está a gusto como Dios te tiene, Marrojelio. Ok, es no licenciado. Gracias, Please, gracias, guys, no sí. sean tan malos entre ustedes. Ok, listen, ya no tenemos tiempo, no les quiero quitar más, así que de verdad, de verdad, les agradezco muchísimo que se quedaran este extra minute. Thank you a lot. Just remember, el examen tienen el weekend para poder hacerlo. Así que cualquier duda que tengan, you can tell me. No olviden terminar las tareas de esta semana. Entendido, Después de mañana. Please? Yes, you can do it tomorrow. Yes. Solo please okay. pedirles, como les dije al inicio de la clase, no esperen hasta el domingo a la medianoche para hacer el examen. Ok. Traten de hacerlo mañana si es posible o de preferencia el domingo por la mañana. Ok. Is it clear, okay. everyone? Ya yes. viste, Barros Yes. <laughs> Great. Sí. Ok. Eh, ¿Preguntas antes de irnos? No. Yo tengo no. Que... Ok, hold on. Tengo una pregunta de Xiomara. Go ahead. Eh, al parecer yo allí ya hice una. Eh, la uno, la dos, la tres, a la cuatro, que supuestamente es el examen. Ok. Let's a see. Eso no hay algo otro que... Ok, let's see. I'm going to share así rapidito el examen solo para que se fijen. El examen cuando ustedes los abren les va a aparecer like this. Uh -huh. eh, look at this. Eh, let me go back. Vaya, ustedes están acá y les aparece middle term y les aparece uh -huh. cuatro preguntas, pero es que no es que el examen tenga solo cuatro preguntas. Estas cuatro preguntas quiere decir que tienen cuatro secciones. A eso se refiere con cuatro. Aquí empieza la question number one. Vienen ustedes, responden, right? Y le dan enviar. Cuando le han dado enviar, le dan en siguiente. Next. Ok. Una vez que le han dado en siguiente, aquí aparece. Uh, but let's see. Ok, hold on, hold on. Me aparece, oh. me aparece diferente. Let's see. A mí también. I'm sorry, así les aparece a ustedes, solo esas sí. questions, only yes. five questions. No, no, dele donde está el checklist, ahí donde está el checklist, dele ahí, ahí, se van desplegando. Ah, ok, yes. Mm. Ah, pues esa es la idea, porque <risa> es que, ajá, en la mañana lo revisé y aparecía different. So, solo le van dando enviar y, y next, y ahí les tiene que ir apareciendo la siguiente sección, porque son como cuatro, I guess, if I'm not wrong. Ajá. Ay, pues entonces ya lo hice. Yes. Eh, voy a revisar las notas. Si el domingo o, por ejemplo, el lunes a primera hora veo que alguien no lo ha hecho, directamente me contactaré con esa persona para decirle sí. que lo haga y a ver qué está pasando. Lili, no sé si usted tenía una pregunta. Ah, eso era lo mismo. Y al final, después de la unidad 4, está otro examen. Ah, yes, pero ese todavía no lo hagan. Ese es el examen final. Eh, hay que ver el contenido primero para que ustedes puedan hacer el final. Ese es el final, okay. así que don't worry. Yes. Teacher, okay. entonces el examen hasta qué número de parte llega. Yeah, 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 cool. <ríe> ok, listen, cuando ya les aparezca. Tiene cuatro. Cuatro. Ah, cuatro, okay. yes. Cuatro. Only four. Exacto. Okay. Solo cuatro son. Yes. Ok, gracias. Okay. Very good. So everybody, this is all for today. Buena suerte en el examen. Cualquier duda, ahí nos avisan en el grupo y les estaremos ayudando. Good night and good have night. a good, good night. 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 Good night.